Hi, welcome to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, what is the best way to read books. So what is the best way to actually consume books because uh, I'm gonna go over the advantages and disadvantages of the three main ways to read and consume books and those are uh, physical books, then ebooks and audiobooks in the end. So uh, I'm gonna go over all three of these I'm gonna go over some advantages and disadvantages mostly based on my like subjective opinion and uh, mo my personal opinion and then uh, we'll see like in the end of course I will uh, tell you which, which is uh, what is my favorite way to, to read books and then of course you can uh, write down in the comments uh, what is your favorite way uh, to read and consume books is it physical uh, ebooks or audiobooks so let's start right away uh, first we're gonna go over uh, physical books so advantages of the physical books of course that's like main uh, main way to read books those are like uh, that's basic way uh, those are books actually real books uh, and uh, like the old old school really way to to read books and one really uh, for me biggest advantage is feeling because uh, when we read physical books we have that real feeling of the book we hold the book with both of our hands we can smell the book uh, we can really uh, see it really in detail and you can uh, turn the pages you can hear that sound uh, it really has all those uh, more important uh, things uh, components and uh, when you read a physical book you you have that real feeling of uh, reading real book because when you read ebook you don't have that feeling of holding a book of uh, turning a p the page or maybe uh, that smell because uh, those are really important things uh, because when when you hold a book your brain actually uh, knows that you're reading a book that you're holding a book and when you go over that uh, text on the paper uh, when you turn the page you know you're like uh, getting something done you're actually doing something like that's uh, constructive and productive and that's for me one f like biggest advantage of uh, of physical books that feeling you have and uh, for me as well uh, really the best focus I can have on reading physical books and I, I think that's for most people uh, like that because when you uh, hold your book you're really like you at least should be uh, only think thinking uh, about that and you only uh, should be focusing on that and it's the easiest uh, to focus uh, on the content on reading uh, when you're reading a f physical real book because you're just holding that book and then you're in that uh, just in that spe special world of reading and you're just uh, then you, you, you don't have anything else uh, distracting you you just ca can focus the best and you can retain the most information I believe uh, when reading uh, that physical book and that's uh, because I believe that that's the, the best way to retain the most uh, amount of inform information uh, when like first reading and of course one really uh, important uh, advantage is that it's easy to take notes uh, on the physical book either uh, you can uh, underline or uh, highlight uh, some uh, text right in the book or it's really it's really easy to then uh, take some additional notebook and write down some uh, some like uh, notes and uh, impor important information you think uh, you you want to remember and of course you can write like uh, on the edge of the book or something like that if you want uh, for me personally I don't really like to uh, write too much in the book uh, over the the text but for me it's easy the easiest to take notes uh, then like just in the other notebook I uh, take notes like summary and then for me it's the the best way to to uh, take notes uh, on the physical books disadvantages of the physical books is of course space because physical books uh, require the most space of all these three uh, ways and because mostly because uh, for example if there is uh, like 500, uh, 500 pages book it's actually big and it takes a lot of space if you have 10 books like that it 
needs like the the whole shelf but of course uh, that's why bookshelves exist and uh, of course uh, in comparison to other uh, ways it takes a lot of space but for me uh, i like like to to see uh, like a lot of books uh, on the shelf and for me that's not that huge disadvantage but of course if you're for example traveling uh, then those books are taking some space uh, in your uh, suitcase or in your bag so that's like a little bit disadvantage because when you're like traveling uh, with logistics it can uh, take up some space and of course uh, physical books are uh, that they co cost uh, the most amount of money uh, in comparison to other uh, ways of consuming books so uh, uh, physical books are like the highest price uh, you have to pay the highest price for for the physical books but I think it's uh, definitely worth it because of that feeling I mentioned and of that uh, real like uh, experience you have when you're reading a physical book so those uh, now we're done uh, with the physical books and we're moving on to the ebooks and uh, with ebooks uh, the first advantage is that it's really like uh, easy to access and it's really uh, takes it doesn't take a lot of space so uh, that was a disadvantage with physical books they take up a lot, a lot of space but ebooks don't take up a lot of space and like they then they don't take take up a lot of space in physical uh, meaning but they as well mostly doesn't take up a lot of uh, storage on your device uh, so like if you you only for reading you need your uh, either Kindle or your phone, tablet, whatever, and uh, it it's the only space uh, it needs. It's needed for uh, reading a book. You can have hundreds of books on that one uh, device, but then it takes some some storage space. But it's not actually a lot, like few megabytes uh, for one ebook. It's it's not too much. But so that's one really good advantage because you can have on your device uh, as many books as you want. That's really huge uh, advantage. And another one uh, is that it's uh, ebooks are cheaper. So you don't have to pay uh, that much money for ebook uh, as you have to for physical book. So it's actually uh, a little bit easier to, to get uh, ebook. And of course, you don't have to wait for ebook to, uh, uh, to, get, uh, to be delivered to your door. You just download it and it's uh, it's ready to go. You can read right away. So those are uh, advantages of the ebooks. But uh, then uh, disadvantages are that you need that device. So if you're reading, uh, if you want to read on a Kindle, you're, you're going to need to buy a Kindle. But that's actually not maybe huge ad disadvantage because everybody today uh, has phone and you can read those books on your phone. And like you just have to download the book on your phone, but if you want like a little bit advanced experience, you'll have to buy a Kindle. So that's really uh, only like small uh, disadvantage. And for me, one uh, disadvantage of eBooks is small letters. Uh, that's at least from my experience of reading eBooks uh, that they mostly have uh, smaller letters, and then it's a little bit harder to uh, focus and then to read to follow through the book uh, maybe for some people it's not a uh, huge disadvantage it's not huge disadvantage uh, but it's a little bit like uh, it's uh, more disadvantage than advantage and uh, another uh, disadvantage is that you have uh, that light screen uh, in your eyes in your face for so if you're reading like uh, in the evening or maybe your eyes can get tired of uh, watching the screen so uh, if you read physical books, you you're not w watch looking at the phone, at the screen, and uh, you're actually like resting, uh, because nowadays we have a lot of screen time, so it's really good to uh, move move away from that a little bit with physical books. But of course, if someone prefers to to read ebooks, uh, that's uh, as well small disadvantage uh, that screen time. So those are uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, ebooks. And now we're moving on to the third way of reading or consuming books and those are audiobooks so advantages of the audiobooks is first that they are cheap as well uh, so 
they are mostly in the same range as uh, ebooks so it's not that uh, high price as uh, physical books you can access them uh, with way less money uh, but on uh, but another advantage is that you can uh, actually listen to audiobook on a go so for example you don't have to really be sitting down and holding a book you can just put your earphone or you can just play it aloud uh, for example if you're doing a laundry of or if you're uh, driving a car or whatever you're doing some light uh, jobs you can uh, while doing that you can listen to audiobooks uh, and uh, another also advantage is that they uh, they are not taking up a lot of space as well you have uh, you have to have a device but uh, it it doesn't take a lot of space you can have on that phone as many books as you want a uh, few few megabytes and you have the book and it's also like easy to access you have to just download the book and you you can start listening so that's really like good uh, good uh, side of the audiobooks because you can uh, really listen to to the audiobook whatever you're doing of course you can't uh, listen to audiobook while doing something where you have to be really focused but when you're doing some like light jobs like washing the dishes you can uh, listen to audiobooks in the background but at the same time disadvantage is that uh, you're not uh, retaining so much information as you do uh, with physical books or ebooks because uh, if you're doing like uh, I don't know wash, washing the dishes or either or even if you're not doing anything you're just sitting and listening to the audiobook uh, it's so much uh, more difficult to concentrate because your eyes are free and you're watching around the room around wherever you are and uh, for me I, at least I that I find that uh, way much harder to uh, focus and to listen to the content and then to remember uh, information when I'm just listening to audiobook of course then there is a option to like combine uh, read the book and listen uh, to audiobook at the same time but uh, that's if you if you really prefer that uh, I didn't honestly try that a lot uh, for myself but I'm planning on uh, trying that uh, audiobooks and reading a book at the same time uh, but so definitely that the biggest disadvantage is uh, lower information retention so uh, you you can remember way less information when listening to audiobooks and uh, it's difficult to take notes if you're like driving a car and you're listening to listening to audiobook if you don't have any like special system it's hard to to take notes but of course if you if that's the best way for you to to consume books then you'll definitely uh, find a way to to take some notes and to make it the best possible so those are my uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, all those three uh, ways of consuming books and for me personally uh, the best way to to read books is physical books I prefer the most uh, reading physical books and whenever I can uh, whichever book I can read in a physical way I will read it in a physical uh, way uh, but if I can't I'll then uh, go for ebook and uh, those are mostly like uh, ways uh, I consume books and then the least uh, I consume uh, audiobooks but it's like uh, it's just about personal preference and wh what uh, suits you the best what you you think is the best for you and that's just uh, it's nothing wrong with any of those uh, any of these uh, three ways of consuming books you just have to find uh, the best one for you and then you you can uh, because the the goal is to re remember the most information and then to use those information to learn something new and to grow as a person so uh, find uh, find what works the best for you uh, I, as i said for me is the best physical books and you write down in the comment as well what works the best for you so I hope this was helpful and uh, it's gonna encourage you to start maybe exploring some new ways of consuming books or maybe to uh, really look for yourself what works the best so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video